Day of the Dead, a traditional Mexican festival also celebrated here in the U.S. state of Arizona across the border. Here, amid tokens of the dead, talks of politics is very much alive. Because of the state of the country, um, I think that with President Trump, um, unfortunately, it's, I mean, there's people that love him and that's great, but there's people that despise him because of his attitude and the way he speaks. Trump isn't on the ballot, but Arizonans will choose between congressional candidates who either support or oppose him. I wholeheartedly support the president. Uh, he's moved the National Guard to the border. Well, I believe it's our duty to stand up against the president when he's doing something wrong. Trump won Arizona in the presidential election. Outside urban centers, support for him remains strong. But in this state where one in three voters call themselves independents, the midterm elections results are anyone's guess. I'm kind of a little bit in both ways, you know, so it depends on what that person stands for. There's also the question of whether Latinos who lean Democrat will turn out in high numbers. Arizona's pride of its mixed heritage is on display here, with Latinos making up 30 percent of the state's population. But fewer than half of registered Latino voters actually cast a ballot in a midterm election. So the challenge for the Democratic Party is to translate the enthusiasm on these streets into action at the polls. Volunteers with the group Mi Familia Vota have been canvassing Hispanic neighborhoods for weeks. They say the response has been worrying. Go vote. All right, thanks, right? y'all. A lot of them are scared. They're scared to even come out. They're scared to even go do anything because of everything that's been going on. Because of what Trump said? Yeah. In recent weeks, Trump has stoked fears about an approaching caravan of Central American migrants. These are some bad people coming through there. These aren't babies. These aren't little angels coming into our country. The president is sending more than 5,000 soldiers to the border. It's definitely a, a fear-based strategy. Um, at the same time, I think when you're thinking about Arizonans, um, is again, those practicalities of, is that overkill? Voters at the Day of the Dead Festival spoke of the dark state of politics in Arizona and around the U.S. They say they're ready to move on. The question is, in which direction?